So that's what we're going to do. So I was going to walk people to the offices and ask a question, but are you going with me or am I going solo? This is their warning. They yeah, exactly. All right. This is your warning, guys, okay? So we're in here. We're brainstorming. And boy, I look tired. I need some eye cream. You need, like, glasses a filter. On. If you put your glasses on, it hides the dark. Place. I think Facebook Live needs, needs a pretty filter like Snapchat. Yeah, no kidding. I need a filter on here. Okay, so we're talking strategy today. Is uh, guess what? It's coming up that time. And, hey, you got the hair, the very Dan style hair today. Yeah. So we're it, conference season's coming again. So here's a question: What does guerrilla marketing mean to you? If I said guerrilla marketing, a do you know what it is and what does it mean to you? Now I'm going to ask because we just got in a debate. Nicole, what's up? Nicole, Hi. Oh, Nicole put her glasses on too. I did. I did. <laughs> Hi, my dark circle. circle. <laughs> to you. Yeah, maybe I, I should put mine on then. But I'm already off camera. Okay. So, Brad, what's up, Bradley? Neil. All right. So here's the question: What does guerrilla marketing mean to you? I don't know. I just don't like the word. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I, no, I, I like that. You, I don't like the word. Okay, you don't like the word. A any reason why? Do you know? I mean, um, is it a, like a word that you don't like? Like, we don't like the word... Uh... It reminds me of propaganda. Okay. So... Wartime. Propaganda. Okay. Gorilla, I don't know. Like guerrilla that's warfare. That's just what it... Yeah. I guess. Okay. That's... I never really thought of that. But yeah, that's true. That makes sense. So you don't like the word, so you, you wouldn't be... That would not be like a... a attraction for you to no. download a book or something mm -mm. so here's the question to you guys would guerrilla marketing or something having to do with guerrilla marketing what does it mean to you and if you've seen it would you click on it Dan what does guerrilla marketing mean to you oh it's easy I mean how can we leverage the use of actual gorillas in our marketing it's a pretty great idea no I think <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Okay. But no, I think what I think comes guerrilla marketing is Greg, Greg, Greg. So tell me, what does guerrilla marketing mean to you, Matthew? How? What does guerrilla marketing mean to you? Just so you know, <laughs> Nicole said guerrilla marketing is uh, scary. It has a negative, a negative connotation. A negative connotation. Okay, so that's what it is. So, but no, it's not about using gorillas. It's about how to use something on a grassroots level to promote a product. And I think some So if you've seen something, like if it was an ad that was running, it was like guerrilla marketing. Okay, I'll give, you, I'll give you an example. Okay, okay. Guerrilla marketing, a great tag a couple of years ago, the Albany, downtown Albany Museum, did a dinosaurs event, and they had these dinosaur footprints all over Albany. And well, James Hurley just said it's being innovative. Yes, mm -hmm. so they had these dinosaur footprints all around Albany, no one knew what it was, but then they, they all led back to the museum for the event. Mm -hmm. So that was a way that everyone was like, oh, this is really cool, it's innovative, it's different. Um, but it wasn't saying tickets, 29 bucks for the dinosaur event, right? It wasn't. So James just said unconventional. So there you go. So do you, are, would you click on something if it said like guerrilla marketing tactics or guerrilla marketing strategies or, or something with that? Would you? I would. It? I would. Andy, here's a question for you. What does guerrilla marketing mean to you? So you would click on it. Mm -hmm, I would. Probably not. Okay. But I, I do would. like the dinosaur foot, footprints. Okay. I would follow the dinosaur You know, there was, in uh, years ago in Knoxville, there was uh, this burger place that was opening up, uh -huh. you know, like cheeseburgers. And what they did is uh, they had like a, a team of individuals that went out and put up these signs everywhere. And it was the sign, it was like a black silhouette of like a bison. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and these things started popping up. They were at the radio stations, they were at the TV stations, they were at major employers, they were up and down the highway. They installed hundreds of these black bison signs all over town. No one knew, and it mm -hmm. was just a black silhouette of a, like a bison or a bull right. or something. And uh, so, Nobody knew who was doing it, what was happening. It was just bisons went up. You were going to work. And I was like, and people were talking about it at work. Did you see right. the black bison on the work? Yeah, I did. And so it was, conf you know, people were confused. In fact, they got news coverage that the news stations were like, what's the deal with the black? I think they even had some billboards. I'm not positive on that. But it was uh, everywhere. And mm -hmm. the news covered it. And then they announced it that it was, I think it was a place called Backyard Burgers. Mm -hmm. the, and they talked about their bison burger. Mm -hmm. And so that was a guerrilla marketing tactic in my right. book. All right, Sam. 
you already know what the real market is. <laughs> I agree, Dan. But what your analogies, what I, what, how that conversation kind of gets started, because I thought of guerrilla marketing as street teams back in the day. You know, groups of individuals that would go out there try and communicate a message through um, posters, through signage, through subliminal messaging, um, and content that was put out there. That's what it really makes me think about. But it is that um, innovation that happened through those those channels. So if you've seen an ad running on Facebook mm -hmm. talking about guerrilla marketing strategies for something, mm -hmm. do you think you'd click on it? I think so. Um, I, I think I click on a lot of content to find out what they're really talking about. And I think guerrilla marketing is one of those things where it could be an innovation and needing to know what that innovation is would be important to me. Nice. Mike, the question is, what does guerrilla marketing mean to you? Samantha's for it. She would click on it. Dan says it's putting a group of gorillas together and they do the marketing <laughs> for you. Not really. And then Nicole said, no, it's a negative connotation. So, Mike, what do you think it is, guerrilla marketing? Dan, why don't you do this? Why don't you walk around the office okay. and just surprise people. They have no idea you're coming. So. Okay. So ask them. So we should take um, a vote. How many more people say it's gorillas marketing? Yeah, exactly. That's like the I don't know what to say comment, I think. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, so. Are you coming with me or am I going solo? Uh, no, it's all you guys. Okay. All right. So, there's so I'm going to walk around. Have fun, Dan. And all again, right. guys, why don't you share this? Because I would like to know what is the, the meaning behind growth. I mean, I know what the meaning is, but what does it mean to you as an individual? What do you think would of? You, so yeah, what, what do you does think it mean of? to you? But what do you think of when you hear guerrilla marketing? Because we can define it, but everybody has a perception of what it means. Right. So that's what we're looking for. Yeah, because I am wanting to use the word guerrilla marketing, and uh, some people are poo pooing my idea. So should I use the word guerrilla marketing? So there you go. All right. Scott. This is Scott. And this is also Scott. Yep. Two Scots. We're twins. What's that poem, Two Scots in a Road? Uh, in Your Life is Complete? Yeah. I think that was the, uh, the same. Here's the question we're asking. What comes to mind when you hear Jeez. guerrilla marketing? Monkeys. <laughs> gorillas, <laughs> yeah. Guerrilla marketing? Yeah. Do you know what guerrilla marketing is? No, but I know like what guerrilla warfare is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, what do you think guerrilla marketing is? Um, guerrilla warfare without the guns. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Pens and websites and. So it has a negative connotation. No, I don't think so. No. I don't know. Depends on how uh, you. I don't know what it really is. You view it. Yeah. Well, we were using the example of like when uh, they had the dinosaur exhibit downtown Albany. Yep. And they had all these dinosaur footprints all around Albany that led back to the museum but didn't say anything about the museum or the event, so it was kind of like a, a creative, innovative way of yeah, that's pretty cool. promotion instead of just doing a big, a so, big banner or poster that says right. dinosaurs over here. <laughs> right. People's attention in an unusual way. Yep, there you go. So Not traditional. Sounds good. That sounds good. Appreciate it, Scott. Thank you, Daniel. Let's go down and see who else we got. Chrissy's not here today. Allie. Yeah. I have a question. What comes to mind when you hear guerrilla marketing? Guerrilla marketing? Like? And it's not marketing with gorillas. I already tried. Yes. Onward. Do you think you have a it has a negative connotation, guerrilla marketing? I think the word gorilla has a negative. Yes. Like I, I know that it's not a negative thing, but I think when I think of gorilla, I think of gorilla warfare. Right. Yep. That's exactly what. <laughs> what that's exactly what Scott and Scott said. Yeah. So, so like, like I, that, I don't. Yeah. Do you know I, like what gorilla marketing like is? I think so. Like, what do you think it is? Are you going to Google it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Promoting products and services in an unconventional way with a little budget. Okay. So does that make sense? It's just kind of like, it's kind of like spraying and praying maybe. Yeah. So like we were talking about like, we had um, Backyard Burgers. Yeah. 
they had these silhouettes of bison they put everywhere, all over the place. Yeah. And no one knew what that was about. And they had a new bison bird coming out, so things of that nature. Um, so Brian's, it's like you're trying and you're going in for it, but no one really knows what you're doing? Well, kind of, but you're being like super innovative and creative, where mm -hmm. instead of just doing a TV spot for something, you're finding out how you can use yeah. people, places, new ideas. Brian says face to face, creative marketing, out of the box ideas, and action that gets yeah. results. So, my favorite one is like the dinosaur exhibit in Albany. Mm -hmm. They had dinosaur footprints all around Albany that led back to the museum. Okay. But no one knew what it was about until they got, you know, till they heard about it. So, yeah. it was kind of like a nice way of sort of spending that money on TV. It's more of like using things, places around. So, yeah. So, you would, if you saw an ad for guerrilla marketing, would you click on it? Like guerrilla yeah, marketing probably. ideas. Probably. Because I think it's, it's like we're saying, like it has a negative connotation, but it shouldn't. Right. But then again, but I the think the gorilla right. also implies like something like quick and like, right. okay, let's let's get this done. It's easy to implement. So, yeah. so. All right, cool. Thanks, Allie. <laughs> <laughs> let's see how else we can find. Brad, I have a question for you. Okay. What comes to mind when you think of guerrilla marketing? Oh, like boots on the ground. So, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like the little things that, you know, you kind of like the crazy little things that you try to do to like grab attention that yep. like aren't like traditional type things. Right. Like that's what comes to mind. Like, you have an example? Um, on the sidewalk. Chalk. Yeah, that's true. All right, so in Saratoga, there's a like a sidewalk chalk girl who just goes around to businesses and she does like chalk artwork in front of their business forum, and it gets people to come into the business. So it's like her little business of chalk marketing, mm -hmm. but it's grill marketing because people walk by and instead of looking at like you know you can have like this sign there with a like a drink special, or you could have this really beautiful picture of chalk that like is a little bit nostalgic and is very pretty and like yeah maybe I'll go check out this place now. Nice. Yeah, so like that, that would be a good example. Of That's a really good example. Yeah. Does does it have a negative or positive connotation? Gorilla marketing? Yeah, like when you hear it, do you think of like... Because <laughs> Scott and Allie both said it has a negative connotation because so. it's like guerrilla warfare. Oh, no, I don't think so. Maybe the name, but I don't think the act itself. Yeah. Do you think people know that it's spelled with like G-U-E-R? I don't even think people. No. They don't. Probably not. They probably hear it and they're like bananas. Yeah. And I don't think it's a term we use a lot now. I don't think it's... No, it's definitely... I think we more use more like, like grassroots and like things of that nature. But mm -hmm. do you have any examples of guerrilla marketing that you've seen? I said chalk. Oh, that was your example. That's right. <laughs> Combined example. Combined example. <laughs> Off the spring. That's Off the right. Spring. Well, thanks guys. I appreciate it. Better day. Hey Lee, I have a question for you. Okay. What comes to mind when you hear guerrilla marketing? Um, Shepard Fairey comes to mind. Really? He did the famous Obama poster. Okay. And he um, does a lot of like stickers and stuff like on boxes, and he's a really cool guy. So it's kind of like doing like advertising like in a like a different way. Yeah. You know, does it have a negative connotation or a positive one to you? Um, to me, it's positive. Um. Society may think it's negative, seeing stickers all over the place. Right. But that is a method of guerrilla marketing. Yeah, definitely. Um, but Shepard Ferry, he's really cool. He started off in Kinko's, and now he's like a famous artist, graphic designer. Nice. That's awesome. That's a good example. So yeah. I appreciate it. Thanks so yeah. much. <laughs> Alex. Hey, Dan. I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, what comes to mind when you hear guerrilla marketing? Uh, just like on the ground marketing tactics that are outside the box, like not even necessarily paid. Like, right. I don't know, partnership with local business, using social media influencers, that kind of thing. Right. So it would be something that wouldn't normally be. Uh, this guy. This guy? What this is guy this guy right here? He's a gorilla. Oh, so like Does that's the guerrilla marketing? Actually, guerrilla marketing. Actual guerrilla marketing. <laughs> so we should probably preface like this actual guerrilla marketing and then guerrilla yes. marketing. 
Yeah. No, that's, that's a good idea. Do you have any like other examples of like you've seen that where people have done? No, I'd say the influencer one is the biggest one right now. And those are kind of tricky because the uh, customer may not know it's even marketing. They just right. like their favorite social media person is recommending a great product. That's true. That's, that's I hadn't even thought about that. I was thinking more like physical, tactile, like Brad and uh, Brad and Ashley were talking about, you know, a restaurant drawing chalk drawings outside the restaurant and that kind of stuff that gets them to come in. Yeah. We heard like museums have like a dinosaur event having like dinosaur footprints like coming to the deal, you know. Yeah. So oh, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Steph, do you know what real marketing is? Um, yeah, I think of just really in your face can't be ignored marketing. I like that. Can't be ignored. Can't be ignored. So you walk and buy something and it grabs your attention and you just can't yep. look away. Yeah. Like I generally imagine it to be more of physical type marketing, but I agree with Alex that moving in a social direction yeah, I didn't you can think definitely social. get social growth. I didn't marketing. think social at all. I was thinking only physical, but yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Steph. You're welcome. Let's go down and see. Aaron. Hi, Dan. I have a question for you. Okay. What comes to mind when you hear guerrilla marketing? Something super crazy and out of the box. Out of the box. Like something super random. Okay, random? Like thinking automotive, just like a car in a random place. like. On the beach, just like sitting there, <laughs> like you have no idea where it came from, why it's there. No, it's a good example. That's really good. So you think it doesn't have a negative or positive connotation to it? No, I don't think so. I just think it's not what you're typically used to. Right. Like traditional TV spot or something like that. you've never. Gotcha. No, I like that. I appreciate it. No. Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> Patrick. Dan. Question for you. Oh, let me guess what it is. The world wants to know. Yeah, what do they want to know? What comes to mind when you think of guerrilla marketing? The first thing that comes to mind is the question that you've been asking everybody else. <laughs> uh, guerrilla marketing, um, I don't want to say outside the box thinking. Um, it's a little too cliche. Uh, but the first thing that comes to mind is like hitting the streets, whether it's an actual street or... Or, or really just taking it to the people. It might not be something that you need to come up with this grand scheme that it's hitting every genre and every avenue. It's really getting it direct to the people so they see it over and over again. And the first thing that comes to mind is when people go around and they start slapping stickers on everything. That's not the most legal thing to do, but that's what comes to mind for guerrilla marketing. So really, how can you then take that aspect of kind of just plastering it everywhere so where everybody see, looks, they see, whatever you're trying to promote. Mm -hmm. So that could be then doing just personalized posts on Facebook, uh, getting flyers out there, just really getting it directly to the people is what I think. Of I like that, no, that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks Patrick, No Appreciate problem, it. thank you. All right. Kian. What? I have a question for you. Wait. <laughs> What comes to mind when you hear guerrilla marketing? What? What guerrilla marketing? Do you know what guerrilla marketing is? No. <laughs> well, what what comes to mind? You think it sounds positive or negative? I think I don't know, like positive. Okay, positive. Do you know what like grassroots marketing is? No. So Wait, like. Isn't that like a social media? It's it's kind of like advertising in a way that's unconventional. That's like out of the box. So say like you're walking down the street mm -hmm. and you see like dinosaur footprints on the ground and you have no idea what it's about, mm -hmm. but they all lead down the street to a museum about dinosaurs. So instead of having like a big billboard saying dinosaurs, you know. Okay. So can you think of anything that's kind of like innovative like that in marketing that Have you ever been like down the street, like in Saratoga, where there's all bunch of like restaurants and there's people, you know, using like ways of bringing people into the restaurant that's kind of creative and different? No. Kind no. Of, I don't know. <laughs> well, 
Oh Aaron God. gave the example of say you're at the beach and there's like you have a dealership who puts a car like on the beach mm. and so you're there you're like yeah. how did this car get here you're like just confused and it's different but it gets you thinking about it so they were doing like guerrilla marketing by not doing it the normal way not just putting a sign up saying buy this car so okay. it's okay to not know what it is <laughs> not everybody knew what it was so. but I think Allie does Al. Is this a live stream? No, yeah. it's not live. I'm just videoing it. Oh. Like, so if I were to make like really indecent gestures, the whole world would see? <laughs> they would. They would. <laughs> <laughs> but do you, do you know what Google Market? I mean, yeah. okay, so you know what it is. Yeah. Would, would it, does it have a negative connotation to you or positive? I mean, it's. I think all advertising types are inherently neutral. I mean, a newspaper ad can be great or a newspaper ad can be... Not great depending on your market, how you do it. Um, mm -hmm. I can send out an email and it can be super effective because it's a good email. I can send out an email and it can like alienate people because it's deceiving or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, right. You know, that will work for everybody, works great for some people. You might not think it will work great for you, but if you execute it correctly, then nice. you're good. I like that. Do you have any examples of like, non-traditional guerrilla marketing that you've seen like um when i went to school rit um <laughs> one of the one of the campaigns that a student did for a project was um they put these stickers around that said don't be a creeper and had a picture of this creeper guy um and then it would lead you to a website and it was kind of like hey these are behaviors that make other people uncomfortable it was definitely targeted towards um guys doing it but mm -hmm. obviously girls can be creepers too sure yeah no it's a great example so they got people like looking and then they learn something nice very cool well thanks Allie. Mm -hmm. appreciate it i love the emoji wall it's pretty great did you guys do all these yeah I, uh, back in you she, <laughs> it was we had a whole emoji room for christmas but yeah. this is the last remnant nice really cool all right, I guess we'll go back and... <laughs> Fill up, what's going on? Yes or no. And then if they say yes, then we say... Are we sending it all in one? Like all no, I would, I would break it up like okay. maybe a, a seven process. One I'm seven. back. We got a lot of info. All right, well, what was the consensus about guerrilla marketing? Consensus, some people thought it sounded negative. Yeah. Some people had no idea, Heon had no idea what it was. Well, we, we, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, But some people said, like, mind. Brad and um, Ashley talked about how restaurant, you know, to draw things outside of the restaurant on the chalk to get them to come in. Yeah. Um, and just being innovative. Alex said, just out of the box ideas, how it can be different and just not spend a lot of money. So that was one small budget type of stuff. Right. So for the most part, I think people thought it was pretty, they hadn't heard that term before, some of the younger demographic of the audience. Okay. Well, but, what about our friends on Facebook? Are, are we getting much comment on it? Oh yeah. Um, I let's see. I'd love to hear what they're saying. Brian Davis says face-to-face, -face, creative marketing, out of the box ideas, and, and action that gets results. Nice. So, and uh, Philip just signed on. Philip, the question is: When I say guerrilla marketing, what is the connotation? That the, really, the I guess the the thought, the process. What goes through your mind when I say guerrilla marketing? James says, if you are creative, it can cost a considerably amount less. Yes. So if you're creative, you can spend less money and make more of an impact. So. So yes. Yeah, so if you're watching the video now, you want to go back and watch the video because we talked about the dinosaur footprints as a guerrilla marketing strategy and the uh, black silhouette bison signs is a guerrilla marketing strategy. Right. I don't think enough businesses use guerrilla marketing. I mean, so many businesses, they feel like I've got to pay thousands of dollars in advertising, like radio, TV, newspaper, search, pay-per-click, mm -hmm. you know, those type of things, outdoor billboards, to be successful. Yep. And I mean, honestly, I mean, Dan, you know, I mean, we've built our agency without spending money mm -hmm. and without salespeople. And I mean, that amazes, like when Google comes here and they, oh, we want to do a meeting with your salespeople. And we're like, we don't have any salespeople, <laughs> so. Alex, our Alex had a good point. Um, social guerrilla marketing. Yes. Getting people that 
already have an influence and audience and get them to promote the product, you don't even realize they're actually promoting the product. They think they're just talking about something that's cool, but really they're being right. smart about how they're using celebrities. Oh, I just got an idea about that. Because <laughs> I was thinking purely physical. I was thinking purely like outside on the streets and whatever. He was saying, no, use people who have an audience as your guerrilla marketing. So that was pretty cool. So, all right, any last words? Um, be creative and don't get stuck in a rut. Don't, don't keep on doing the same old thing and expecting a different result. Right. Definition cool. of crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Thanks, guys.